Hey y'all, uh, this is just a real quick segment I wanted to film for a couple weeks now. Uh, I bought a, uh, a reefing hook. I've never sailed with my sails reef before on Harpoon 394 here. But um, a few weeks ago, I bought a reefing hook on Amazon. It was $14 and it looked really good. Stainless steel, blunt point, um, so it wouldn't damage the sails. Super strong. Uh, it gave me a lot of confidence, so I bought it, and I didn't know if it would work, but it turns out it worked great. But I want to show you a little trick that I did, or something I did wrong the first time that you can avoid, okay? So here's, a, here's my gooseneck where my boom meets my mast, and I, a lot of you guys may not have this on your harpoon, but this is how my harpoon, this is where I tack the mainsail right here. So uh, here's my reefing hook that was very inexpensive, but works beautifully. And I'll, I'll, I'll put a link in it in the description of, um, of this video so you can go buy one. But the first mistake I made was, here's where I tack my mainsail on this pin, this clevis pin. So I got another clevis pin and I put the reefing hook on a pin in this hole. Obviously, I, I don't think I could put it in this hole, so I put it in this hole. And then when I went to go put my mainsail on, I was unable to tack my mainsail because of the space taken up by this pin. So today I realized that all I had to do was put this pin on the, put this reefing hook on the same clevis pin where I tack my mainsail. And that worked out great and I was able to reef my mainsail and of course you guys know at the back here I have a jiffy reef it's still engaged you can't see it right now but uh, it's still engaged I'm about to take it off uh, and that's I use the uh, jiffy reefing mechanism in concert with this reefing hook and it, it worked great we sailed in really high winds today and everything worked out great for us we had no problems whatsoever all right thanks for watching Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. It's been a long weekend. My arms are sore from sailing all weekend in high winds. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. Oh man, I can't believe all we just did. It, what was it like, 40 minutes? Yeah, kind of. And now we have, look at the day now. Look how beautiful it is. We don't even need the sail to be reefed. Maybe we'll practice unreefing in mid. When we're sailing. Yeah. Okay. Is this secure right here? This clam cleat? I think it is. So we need this. If we unreef, so right now, this acts as a reefing cord and an outhaul. Don't, yep. don't touch it. This black one is now both a reefing cord and an outhaul. Okay. If we unreef, then this becomes dead and this becomes our outhaul. Okay. So I want it engaged and I don't want it to come out. Okay. So don't even look at it because it wants to come out yeah. if you make it angry. Okay. Don't, don't make it nervous. It'll give up the ship okay I'm gonna set us off here all right now the jib's gonna grab there we go it's cleated right yeah it's cleated right now the mainsail's gonna grab oh the rudder perfect we're good we're good we're so good it's not even funny Whew. nice we're gonna have some nice wind out there it's kicking ass and we're going to be glad we have it reefed. It's coming this side, this yes, way, you see? Yes. Now, our reefing is holding just fine under sail. We look good. But what's going to happen now, because I didn't adjust the boom kicker, uh, the boom kicker is going to pop out. We don't need to worry about that. Just don't let it hit you in the face. Okay. This is awesome. We're sailing under reefs. Can you tell me if the wind, what the wind sock tells you over there? Well, it's pointed this way. That way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Great. tail is and, pointed that way. And is it all the way up, the whole sock? Um, kinda. Okay, that's great. I think we have, I think that means we have between 10 and 15 knots of wind. And it looks like it's in that direction, you said? Yeah. Okay. It's pointed that direction, it's almost up. Okay, great. See how different the boat feels with the sails reefed. It's much more docile. Yeah. How's that? Now I'm gonna try and point up wind as much as I can. Okay. We'll 
we'll see how far upwind we can go because we want to make that island is over there. You see those yellow tents on the rocky point? That one. It has yellow, it's rocky. Yeah. Big rocks. Yeah. And it has yellow tents on the top. Yeah. You see those? Yeah. Oh, right. About 50 yards beyond that, there's an island. It's a sometimes island, it's not always there. Is that one you discovered with Marie? Yeah. We didn't discover it. Uh, what, was the one you found? <laughs> yeah, no. She doesn't understand that what I was trying to claim was the land underwater between the island and the mainland. You can walk there now because the water's so low. Yeah. So I figured if you can walk on it, you can name it. <laughs> you have the right, like a pirate to, or an explorer, like Christopher Columbus or something, to name it if you can walk on it. And that's why I named it the Isthmus, not the island. You see the water in front of us? Yeah. It looks different from the water we're on, right? Yeah. That's a major puff of wind we're about to hit in about 30 seconds. Right now we're hitting it. Major wind. Thankfully we have our sail reef. It's not gonna knock us over. Oh yeah. It's actually a wind shift and a major increase. See that? Yeah, because it's, even yeah. the waves are... It's shifted. See, it was about 30 seconds from what I told you. So that's how sailors, tacticians, read the water. Okay. Ready about? Ready. Helms Ali. Good, good. That was beautiful. See, you're getting good at this now. There we go. There we go. Now we're sailing. Yeah, I think this is a really good line. Now I got more. That's great. That's great. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The wind is shifting. Go ahead and start raising the centerboard, please. Yep, cleat that. Now look how we're slipping. Get it cleated and then look. Okay? Now look how we're slipping. Yeah. See how we're slipping to the side? Yep. That's fine. Oh, I can't get the rudder up. Dang it. The rudder's not coming up. Fuck. Oh, rudder, come on. The rudder's gonna hit ground. Alright, depower the sails. How? Oh, this? Yeah, I'm clean. I'm clean to let it out. Let it out. Great, great. Move in, move in. Move in. Great, great. Stay there, stay there. Stay there. Centerboard's up, rudder's up. We're good, we're good, we're good. Give me a little bit of jib. No, the other one. This one? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Great. Ah, oh, this is perfect. Don't worry, we're doing great. But for sure, when I jump out, we want both sails to be depowered. All right. For sure. So you need to double check me. I can't jump yet. There we go, there we go. This is perfect. We're perfect, we're perfect. We avoided that lady. And I'm ready to jump out any second now. And then uh, you just stay on board and check that the sails are depowered. And then you can jump out and... Uh, Unclinge it. Don't jump out on that side. All right. Yeah, make sure the sails are uncleated. All right. Okay, watch your head. Oh, it's shallow. Here. Hey, y'all. This is Dave. And I'm out here off of Windy Point. Luis and I sailed Harpoon 394 today in high winds with the mainsail reefed. It's the first time I've done that. Uh, it worked out great, but I'm really proud of us. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm really proud of us because before we left the dock, Luis, he's so brilliant, he spotted that my shrouds were outside the spreaders. They had become unattached. And I think that happened two days ago when I fell off the boat and I yanked down the shroud and it pulled one out and then the other one came out. 
and uh, him by seeing that and pointing it out, we avoided a catastrophic failure. But also, while the boat was in the water, he and I both detached the boom and brought the mast down and we were able to find uh, the silicone tape that I had in my um, in my tool kit, my tool bag. We re, re uh, we repositioned the shrouds in the spreaders. We put seizing line on them, a couple wraps, and then we wrapped them in the silicone tape and it held up great. And then we raised the mast again. We put the uh, boom back on and we uh, reefed the sail. We rechecked it to make sure it was still reefed. And we sailed out here in high winds and it was great. We had no problems whatsoever. Really smooth sailing. Now we're here at a place off of Windy Point. You can see Windy Point behind me. Okay? Everything's reversed because of the way the camera is and I can't fix that. But this is Windy Point. We sailed from way over there the Austin Yacht Club, about uh, two kilometers over that way. And we're now on this island that's a sometimes island and Luis is just checking it out. So uh, we're having a really great day and we're going to be here for a few minutes. That's Jorge, I think. We got some uh, foiling windsurfers out here. It's really exciting to watch them. All right, so I'm gonna end this transmission and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching Harpoon Dreams.